tiny house. Yesterday morning we got back from a week in Brazil, which was amazing as always. So today is the day where I am continuing to get caught up on cleaning and laundry and organizing and getting ready for the week ahead. So I was unpacking our bags and set aside all the stuff that I bought while I was on this trip. So I just wanted to make a little video about what I shot for when I was in Brazil this last week. Um, I will share some prices when I can, just because when I go to different countries, I kind of like to know what the general price point is, um, how much different things cost, because when you are shopping and thinking in a different currency, it can be a little bit confusing. I do often have my phone out with a uh, currency converter app where I am kind of like thinking it through in my head because you see things and you're like, is that really expensive? Is that not? So it's kind of nice and helpful to have some sort of gauge or idea of um, how much it costs. For the sake of ease in this video, um, the dollar to Brazilian Riai has kind of been up and down um, over some time. Um, this week it has been more or less around five two reais to one US dollar um, but for the sake of this video I'm just gonna say five to one because it's easier so let's see what do I want to start with um, this I actually had ordered and had sent to my in-laws house so it was there when I got there um, it is a dress from Farm Rio I love to shop there obviously Farm Rio when I'm in Rio because the styles in their Brazilian stores and their styles in the American stores are totally different. Um, they definitely cater to a different audience. Um, there may be some crossover in some of the um, fabric designs, but even some of the fabrics are really different. I find that the U.S. stores, some of the fabrics are more formal and some of the fabrics in the Brazil are more casual. So if I'm looking for just day-to-day -day dresses, things to wear, like these pants here are Farm Rio. Uh, they're just like soft little comfy pants for every day. This dress is for kind of every day. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not sure how much this one cost because I had like some cash back rewards to use. So I had to use it before it expired, so I ordered it thinking I was gonna go visit them around Christmas time, which sadly didn't happen. But this was there, it's a really bright dress. Um, little elastic here um, in elastic here so super super comfy adjustable straps it's like a linen so really breathable I was I wore this a lot um, I also wore it we went on a little road trip I wore it in the car so it was super because it's long I hate when the back of my legs sticks to car seats or like plastic chairs I really don't like that feeling so this was really nice to wear because I still looked cute and comfy. Um, speaking of the road trip, if you want to know more about some of the things that I did in Brazil, I'm doing mini vlogs on my Instagram and on my TikTok. Those are linked, so go follow me there if you want to see more of just kind of the day-to-day -day things that we did. Um, next, we first day of our road trip, we went to Saquarema, which is an international surf city. They do a ton of surf competitions, so it's super cool, super chill. Um, so we stayed there for one night. I had been there for like a day before, but we stayed overnight this time. Um, so these are the things that I picked up there. Um, all these cute, I feel like when I go to Brazil, like I come back and my wardrobe is like an exotic fruit farm or an exotic like zoo. I just, <laughs> for some reason, I love to buy things with animals and fruit. Um, these pants are like a stretchy material. Um, it's got like a nice flat front, but then elastic in the back. And then it's also got a matching um, belt to tie around the front pockets. It's really nice. It, they're handmade. They don't have a tag in them. Um, so the quality is really quite lovely and they were 80 reais. So fantastic buy. I may have to hem them a little bit, but that's such an that's such an easy fix. But they did a really nice finish on the, this hem that I'm like, Ooh. maybe I'll just try them on with some of my different pairs of shoes. 
that was cute. Um, the next shop we went to, I loved. Um, it was a couple blocks away from the Posada, the boutique hotel that we stayed in. It was called Made in Sakwa. Um, they had some kind of handmade things too. Um, let's see. First, I bought, I've been looking for just like a little straw bag. This one has both a long strap and a little wristlet that you can clip on, but I might put my own strap on there. I don't know, super basic. I think this was 90 reais. I like these nice flat ones too because they could just like stack in my suitcase really nicely. Um, some of these are a little like wrinkled because I did wear them. And you know it's a good purchase when you like go and you use them immediately. Um, got this little dress there. Super cute, it's got like little cashews and um, leopard spots, a little bit of like gold Lurex sparkle in there. Sorry, it's super wrinkly. Um, stretch here and then like a faux drawstring. Um, short, little kind of kimono sleeve. I This was like the first thing I saw. It was on the mannequin in the window and I made them go and take it off. I'm like, I have to try that on. I believe this one was about 220 reais. Um, made in Brazil as well. That one does have a tag that says me in Brazil. Um, well, I ended up like living in these little shorts because they match the green bikini that I brought. Um, they're kind of a linen-y rayon material. And they've got little like cashews and bananas, um, elastic waist, faux, faux drawstring front. And these were 35 reais. And I'm like, I should have bought every color and every pattern that they had in my size because that's about $7 and these are so cute and I wore them like every day. Love those. Um, then I bought this little handmade like cropped jacket with <laughs> two cans and cashews. Again, exotic animals and fruit. But um, it's a little cute crop, kind of a little bit of like a dolman sleeve and then some elastic to kind of give it a little bit of shape but kind of cute casual to just throw on and comfy um i believe this was 250 reais um very cute handmade um, that's everything i bought in sakuarema then the next day we went to cabo frio which is about another hour north um also really known for surfing beach culture um but they have a street there called Hua Dash Bikinis which is literally Bikini Street and it's a little shopping area of all like swimwear beachwear anything you could possibly want to wear to the beach so of course Brazilian bikinis but like every size shape style color swimwear men's swim cover-ups, sandals, beach bags. I mean, it was amazing. So I bought some really cute things there as well. Um, I think the first store we went to, um, in Brazil, the when you go to the beach, you don't bring like a beach towel, you bring a conga, you bring a sarong. So we use these a lot at home. <laughs> we didn't have one of these ones. Yet. So my husband and I picked up one of those, um, and then I got this little, again, a nice little neutral crossbody, a nice dress, a simple strap. I might put a black one on there, but I don't know. This is like thin and really kind of not conspicuous, but it was really nice quality that had a zipper. It wasn't just open and it has a little lining in there to keep your stuff secure. Um, so that was, that was cute. Maybe. 190 reais. I'm not sure. I don't remember how much. The conga was 45. Um, on the beach, they sell them for 29.99. Again, that's in reais, five to one. Um, but this place had like that I went to had literal stacks and shelves, every color, every style, and they're like, just be welcome. Open all the ones you want. So I bought a couple as gifts as well. Um, but that was a nice shopping experience in that store. Um, I'm also going to make a TikTok about some of the specific stores I went to um, and tag them. So if you're going there, then you can like, check that tag if you'd like. Um, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. So I, in 
the like almost eight years I've been going to Brazil, I hadn't really bought any Brazilian bikinis. So here we are in Brazil. This is what everybody wears, no matter who you are, what you look like, what your shape, size, color is. You wear Brazilian bikinis. Um, so this one is I love these little again exotic animals, bright colored little leopards. I like the way this one adjusted here. I thought that was kind of cool. You can just kind of unlace it to however you want it to fit adjustable. I don't love the ones that are like tie on both sides. I feel like then they like kind of like gap, but I thought that was cute how just on the hip it adjusted. Um, and then this is the matching just plain top, which I feel like I would wear with um, just like even a plain black bottom as well. All of the findings are like really nice quality. Um, all the clasps are like really nice and secure. I believe, I don't have the receipt for this. I believe that when I looked at my credit card, it was 35 US dollars together because you buy them separately. So they'll have like many different styles in the same prints. So you can mix and match. So that's kind of cool. Um, if there's a different style top bottom you like, they, it's a lot of mix and match, which is really fun. Um, this one's from this store, for de Jumbo. I like how on this one, they put in this little bag, but on the back is it has in English and Portuguese care instructions, which I love. I thought that was really helpful. Um, yeah, to maintain the quality of your piece. And it talks about how to care for your bathing suit. This one reminded me of Farm Rio a lot. Oh, I do have the tags on this one. Um, the bottom, it says it was, I don't know if that's right. It says 29. I don't know if that's right, but that's great. Um, this one, again, little side ties um, where you can kind of adjust them nicely. And I like, I don't know, I like bikinis with the like stretch up the backside because I feel like it kind of keeps them in place better. But I love this little pattern. Very cute. And here's the matching little top. But what I liked about this top is you can wear it like a regular halter, but then it also has these little loops. So you can feed this through here and tie it if you want to make sure you're not getting the same um, tan lines over and over again. A lot of girls in Brazil take their bikinis like that are the style and then just like tie it to here um, to kind of adjust where your tan line is. But I thought that was really thoughtful how this had um, a little loop already. Um, the next store I went to, um, I'm gonna take on my Instagram as well because I had the best time there and they were super helpful. Um, I bought a lot of they're an authorized farm seller so you can go to the farm rio boutiques in the mall but there's also some stores called uh, multi moccas like um where they you know carry a lot of different brands but those stores generally carry just the accessories and i have found in my experiences that the accessories from farm rio sell out quickly in the store. So going to these other authorized sellers, you get a much wider selection of items. So I um, bought a couple things for my mother-in-law as well, but these are the ones that I got. I have a little collection of these bags. They're called, the style is called Bolsa Fiafu, um, but I absolutely love them. They're just like a adjustable crossbody. They have a pocket here, a zip pocket here, and then a pocket in the back. And my cell phone fits perfectly in all of these pockets. So I can like put, you know, if I want it to be more secure, you put it in the zip. If you're like, need it available, you put it in the back. And you just put your lip gloss or your keys. I absolutely love these. I have three, I just bought two. They're about, um, I believe, usually in the store, they're 149 reais. Um, so they're the same, you know, they keep their prices the same. Anyway, this one is just, this is the only neutral one I have, but it's really pretty hot pink. And then I bought this one with the, I love this green color. Um, 
little like parrots and toucans on it. Again, with the exotic animals. Um, but I've been wearing a lot of like, I know it's popular right now and I love it. This color green, a bright pink and orange. I've been wearing a lot of that recently. So this one was really cute. Um, then there were a few times on the trip we wished we'd had just kind of like a little casual backpack. So I bought this one. I still have it in the packaging because I didn't want it to get dirty. I'm going to spray it with some silicone protectant. Um, but it's just like a little drawstring backpack, but it's pink on one side and blue on the other side. So you can kind of wear it both ways. And then I got the matching, matching water bottle, naturally. Really cute. Those items are usually in like, like the water bottles and the little bags. But those things are usually in like the 150 to 200 rei range. I don't recall exactly. Um, you can search and go and look at the Brazilian farm website before you go to get an idea of like what things generally cost. Um, then in Cabo Frio they have a night market so I did a little bit of shopping at this fun jewelry store. Everything there is stainless steel. So cute and affordable. Um, for example, these are just like little, little teeny tiny like huggy earrings. Those were five reais. That's like a dollar. Um, then I got this because I have three piercings in my ear. I got this little set of three because I like how they all kind of vibed together. This was 10 reais. This that's two bucks. Um, and then I got this little necklace, um, little cowrie shells. I bought these earrings at a cool jewelry store in Ipanema, I don't know, six years ago. That's sadly no longer there, but these are real silver. But this is stainless steel. Um, if you look at them up close, you can obviously tell the quality difference, but I feel like, you know, I could just wear them because they're farther apart. Nobody would really even notice or if I don't want to match, you know, I could like wear this at the beach and not care too much because it was only like five bucks. Those things were cute. Um, that's everything I bought on the road trip. So back in my, in Niteroi, um, the suburb of Rio where my husband's family lives, um, my mother and I, and I went shopping one day and she bought me a couple pairs of earrings, little um, like gold plated earrings. Um, they were a gift, so I don't know exactly how much, but I believe a lot of the stuff in the shop was $29.99. She bought me these little like filigree gold earrings, which were very cute with a farm skirt that I wore. And then she, she picked those up for me and then I picked these out. She asked me what I wanted. I picked up these, they're just like tiny little price the redeemers in gold. I wish they'd had them in silver. They told me they sell out like as soon as they come in. Um, I do have some tiny silver ones that are not quite as cute from the airport, but hopefully I can find these again in silver and, I don't know, mix, mix and match uh, metals. So the last, well, here, I'll do this next. I bought, picked this up at the airport. Granado, it's a, like a famous body shop there. So I just bought this really nice white tea body oil. It just smells very delicate. I just felt like that was kind of nice to put on in the evening after a shower, you know, if you've been in the sun, um, a little spray. The girl in the shop said this is like the best thing there. This was 42 reais. Um, I know they have these boutiques in like a lot of the stores and sometimes you could buy some of these products like at the drugstore, like their glycerin soaps are really nice. I like to give those as gifts when I'm traveling. So that was nice. Um, every time I go to Brazil, I go to Melissa. Melissa is becoming more popular here in the United States. I have seen them a few styles at like Nordstrom and DSW and here in South Florida, they just opened a shop at the Sawgrass Mills Mall. But again, Brazilian brands, more affordable in Brazil. And I always go to the same shop because my mother-in-law is a part of their loyalty program and you get cash back. And then they also run a lot of promotions. So when we were there, I follow them on Instagram and I follow a lot of their, you know, I look at what their new styles are because sometimes ahead of time, 
they have um, a WhatsApp for the store so you can like message them and ask them to set aside some say I'm coming in later pull these sizes these styles for me um, I like to do that when I can but I didn't this time because we weren't sure when we were gonna go and then I saw on their Instagram that for International Women's Day they're doing buy two get one free and I was like uh, this promotion started today if we can go let's go because they're gonna run out of colors and styles and sizes um, so we did between myself my mother-in-law and some gifts that we bought we left with nine pairs which were once we divided it all out then they ended up being like $22 a pair after all the promotions which was amazing um, so I do know the prices of these ones more or less um, these ones I had bought in pink the last time I was there. Um, a little bit of sand in them, obviously I used them. A little leopard. Um, they have this little, like, plastic piece for your toe. And these ones that are like slick, if they don't have that, I have some that I have like, when they've gotten wet, like my foot would like go all the way through. So, that's something to think about when you look at these styles they're like super slick I don't have that problem my foot going all the way through um, because one time I wore a pair out in the rain and that didn't have this and I was absolutely miserable so now I think about that when I buy these so if that bothers you maybe not the right style but think about that with this slick um, these were the Savage Slide they were $149.90 150 reais before promotion um, I got two in this style, um, brace I think is the collection, so I got a flip flop style and um, around the back sandal style, look like little chains, it looks like little studs and then it clasps here, the, again like slick bottom and then I got them, I ended up wearing these quite a bit. Um, little flip-flop style. That color combo was kind of cool. I might wear those today. Um, and this is obviously the classic, like, oh, I guess I could say, Sav the Savage Slide. And the, or the brace flip, the flip-flop was 139.9, so 140 before discount. And the sandal one with it around the back. Actually, they were both the same. The flip flop and the style around the back were the same price, 140. Um, this is obviously the most classic style, and I didn't have any um, of these that were flat. I love them in a high heel or a platform, but I didn't have any in like just plain. I go there and I buy all sorts of like bright colored and fun styles, and then I come home and I don't have any neutrals to wear with my bright colored. <laughs> outfits so I focused on some neutrals on this trip so these are the classic um, Melissa possession sorry I'm looking at the receipt to say I'm also gonna make a TikTok of all the styles um, if you want to see those but they were 120 so I got them both this kind of like matte black I like how they're more of like kind of a elongated and not like super round shape um, I also got them in transparent. They're super comfy and like cushioned in the bottom. And then the last pair I got, this is the Megan. These were, the original price is 280. The last time I was there, I bought these in orange and pink, like a bubblegum pink. I wear the orange ones all the time. They're like my most worn pair of shoe right now. And people like literally run me down and like, the grocery store where'd you get those where'd you get those where'd you get those and then i so i wore them on the plane to go to brazil since i like to pack my biggest shoe because we we're bringing gifts and other things this woman had to come over to me twice in the airport okay what's the brand tell me again i want to make sure i remember so they had them in my size in this royal blue so i obviously had to get those so that's i believe everything that i bought on my trip. I hope you enjoyed my little shopping experience. Um, and let me know if you liked it, if you like to see what I shop for when I'm out of the country. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.